Hey everyone, this is Andrew and welcome to another video and another piece of test equipment. This is the Sencor SG165 AM FM Stereo Analyzer made in the USA and is a very rare thing to find over here. I've only ever seen Sencor CRT um, analyzers over here, never anything like this. And the best thing of all, it didn't cost me very much and was sold as fully working. It's a really well made piece of equipment, it's got loads of very useful functions on it. I guess it dates from the late 1960s, early 70s. I think from the markings inside this one, it's from about 1973. Um, as I say, it was sold to me as working. Um, when I put it on the scope initially, uh, when I switched to the 10.7 MHz IF um, settings, it worked. When I switched to the 10.7 crystal control settings, it didn't seem to work. So I, uh, I opened it up, had a look inside on the RF board, and someone had actually unsoldered the 10.7 MHz crystal. And there wasn't anything in there, so that would explain why it didn't work. I managed to get a modern HC49 uh, cased uh, 10.7 MHz crystal, so I fitted that in there. Um, put it all back together which is a bit of a rig rigmarole and now we're going to see uh, if that has any effect I've got a Tektronix uh, 221 MHz scope here um, I don't use scopes very much in my valve radio work so um, obviously only picking up 50 MHz at best it's not going to be able to look at the FM um, signal output <coughs> excuse me Right. I'm going to switch it on. Um, there's no valves in it, so it's warmed up straight away. I say very useful piece of equipment. The um, the AM frequency range is about 525 kilohertz up to 1,625 kilohertz. The FM goes from 86 to 100. Sorry, to yep yeah, to 110 megahertz. Um, it's got uh, sweep and marker generator on here um, and the most useful thing which I'll come to in a minute is um, over here the IF on our AM radios is between usually on more more modern sets 460 and 470 um, kilohertz over in the US of course it's more like 455 kilohertz and the useful thing about this piece of equipment is you can rock the IF up to 25 uh, kilohertz higher or lower so this control here brings me within reach of practically all of our uh, transistor and radio valve radios dating from the 1960s very very useful um, it can obviously being a signal generator modulate um, the RF the AMRF at 30% um, it's got a 400 Hertz sine wave and a 400 hertz square wave output to test amplifiers. Um, there's an extra crystal position uh, just in case you want to test something a bit unusual. Um, not sure what I could do with that. Um, obviously it's got um, FM RF, um, 10.7 megahertz IF, that's a very uh, clean sine wave, sine wave to test um, uh, IFTs. <clears throat> it's got a 10.7 crystal controlled, which is carrier wave only. This is the bit I've just fixed. 10.7 sweep and markers. Uh, multiplex signal, which we'll have a look at in a minute. And uh, an SCA 67 kilohertz output. And now that one confused me. Um, it's not something we use over here, I believe, but that is SCA stands for Subsidiary Communications Authority. And I believe in the US, um, things are broadcast um, alongside the FM sidebands. And I believe this setting is to adjust the trap that some US radios might have. Not sure. It's not something we use over here, as I say. Um, this is the RF tuning dial. Obviously, I probably stick a frequency counter on it in a minute and just see how that um, pans out against the dial settings. It makes use of um, two RCA phono plugs here. 
<coughs> for when it's in the sweep settings. Um, this thing didn't come with a probe, but luckily the um, the operating manual comes with a diagram, um, a circuit diagram, and including in that is the circuit for the probe. So I've made myself a little RF uh, detector probe for it. There should also be a matching unit with it, a 75 stroke 300 ohm matching unit, um, but it's got a rather expensive capacitor in it, 20 UF, non electrolytic. Um, they're about seven or eight pounds, I think, so um, I'm going to have to wait for that one. I'm not sure I'll need it anyway. The actual signal generator output is uh, from the usual BNC. Right, so let's see if that little repair I did with a new crystal has actually made it work. Right, so it's just too much voltage. Right, there's the uh, there's a SCA 67 kilohertz setting. I don't think you can modulate that. No, you can't modulate that. This is the multiplex setting. Now, if I do that, we should. If I get there, we go. Let's just um, up the voltage a little bit. <coughs> and then when I this is sorry. This is the left-hand side, 400 hertz multiplex test signal, um, and this is the right-hand. And when I press this, I'm guessing the things in the middle should disappear, and it should be a sine wave. Yeah, there we go. And you can modulate it at five percent and at ten percent. Well, yeah, it went from nothing to five percent. I'm guessing to ten percent. I'm guessing that that all works. Right, what we're going to test now, we're going to test the, uh, we're going to test the markers. That's just, right, that's the 10.7 crystal control. Oh, that seems to work. Good. Right, sweeper markers, well there's the And there's the slight rocking on it. Right, so to test to see if the markers are working, I need to. Uh, luckily, I bought um, a bag load of uh, RF connectors from someone at a ham radio rally uh, about a year ago. And luckily, there's an RCA to BNC connector here. So, right, there's the markers. That's Oh, here they come. Right, there's, there's the markers. And I should be able to increase the height. Yeah, it's just, should be able to increase the height of the markers there, yeah. And of course, I should be able to rock the IF. There you go, you just see that to the right of the screen there. Kind of hours of fun just twiddling this knob. So the idea is this this obviously outputs to your scope. That goes to your radio and that one there picks <coughs> that plugs in there and that picks up from your radio um, from the detector sorry it's interesting oh perhaps I can align myself Good, that all works. Happy with that. It's going to be a very useful piece of piece of test gear. This. Right, I'm going to stop the video here, and then we're just going to set up a frequency counter, and um, 
see how the dial pans out against the frequency counter. Right, I've set up a very accurate uh, frequency counter here and we'll see what it outputs um, and see if how accurate it is. So frequency counters do need some voltage to drive them. So let's put this on full output. So right we'll start off 525. So I've got 525.45. Alright, turning the dial to 550. I've got about 552. I'd suggest this is going to get progressively uh, more inaccurate the further up the dial you go until it gets to the uh, uh, 1000 kilohertz range, I would suggest. And then it will come within, sorry, it will become better again. So that's about 575. I guess something like that. That's dead on 600. I'm getting 608 on the frequency counter. Still not bad, you know, against a a dial like this. 650, and we're at 656. Not bad. 700. We're at 717, so it's getting progressively worse. 715, we're at 764. 750 is. There's 750. 750 is about 7.35 on the dial. 764. 800 is 822 kilohertz on here. That's the 850 on the dial. I'm getting 870. Getting worse. On the 900 on the dial, I'm getting 923. 950 on the dial, I'm getting 968. 1000 kilohertz, I'm getting 1018. 1100, I'm getting 1108. Hello. Where's 1100? About there, so a shade under. 1200 kilohertz. Yeah, now we're getting more accurate. 1204 on the dial. Uh, on the frequency counter, it gets 1200. 1300, and we're almost there. That's 1300 on the dial. Just there, and we're almost spot on on the frequency counter and then 1400 so maybe it needs a little bit of calibration inside that's 1400 on the dial 1399 on the frequency counter 1500 on the dial 1509 oh I'm a shade over actually 1504 on the frequency counter 1500 on the dial and 1600 kilohertz 1597.55 so yeah I think it maybe needs calibrating you can trim it um, uh, inside there's instructions in the manual how to do so um, so yeah and then the last setting is 1625 that comes out at 1621 so yeah what I'll basically do is just every time I want to use it um, you know spot frequency um, as I'll just check it on the frequency counter um, I might have a go at um, trying to trim it although that's never advisable with a signal generator um, it's not something I'd you know I'd do with my valve ones you just have to live with it I think um, anyway hope you've enjoyed this look at uh, Sencor SG165 AM FM stereo analyzer made in the USA and very well made it is too. It's a beauty. Okay, bye bye.